All right, I'm recording now, just so you know, Amanda. Um, this is John King. I'm down here at the University of Montana campus, and I'm interviewing uh, Amanda Curtis, who's running for the U.S. Senate. My first question for you is, how is this race different from the time you ran for the U.S. House, or the Montana State House, I should say? Well, obviously, it's geographically different, and it's a little bit bigger, talking to all million Montanans about the issues that are important to them. It's exciting in the same way that I really had support from uh, a wide spectrum of groups in Butte, and I am feeling a, an, um, an amazing amount of grassroots support from all corners of Montana, from folks that, uh, that represent a wide spectrum of issues. And you were down here talking about education today, and you mentioned that you, are, you're, you still have student loan debt, like, like I do, and yeah, many other like people out there. Do. So I, I want to know um, what the next big topic is going to be for you. Uh, we were kind of waiting to hear some of the major topics. It was published out there that you're a little hesitant to comment. And uh, I'm just curious what the next thing is that you're going to feel comfortable going out on. You're just going to have to wait and see. Just wait and see. <laughs> huh? All right. All right. Um, oh, on the education front, obviously not all degrees have the same financial benefits on the outcome end as the, as the cost on the input this. end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm curious, do you think that these questions should be asked by the Pell Grant tours? That's a really good point, and um, we'll work with all Montanans to 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 listen to their issues and to work on Montana-made solutions on all of these questions. Do you find um, one, of, one of the things I think was probably different as running for the U.S. Senate? It's got to be the amount of media attention and coverage. Uh, do you find it intimidating or overwhelming, or do you enjoy it? Tell us a little bit about that. Side it's of a little bit overwhelming. Um, it's not something that I've dealt with as a high school teacher, um, but I am so thankful for the chance to be the voice of so many Montanans on so many issues. Now, um, you you did the YouTube videos that we all know in, here in the state of Montana. Do you plan on doing a daily rundown for your race for the U.S. Senate? I'm not sure if I'll be able to promise a daily, but I'm going to get the word out as often as I can on the campaign trail about what I'm learning as a candidate for U.S. Senate and what I'm hearing from folks across the state. And uh, you've stressed, oh, last question, last question. Sorry, sorry about that. No, um, okay. You've stressed the economic differences between yourself and your opponent, uh, Steve Daines. Um, tell us why that's meaningful and important. It's meaningful and important because uh, America, as a country, has sent more of the same to Washington, D.C., and I'm talking about millionaires and billionaires and their friends who vote over and over again for corporate special interests and tilt the playing field against the rest of us that know what it's like to work paycheck to paycheck, day after day, week after week, month after month, um, scraping to get by and never really feeling like we're ahead. And perhaps if we stop sending more of the same to Washington and put in folks who are truly a voice for working Montanans, uh, Washington will start to work for us. All right. Thanks for your time, Amanda. Thank you.